Hey everybody, I'm Not Great, and welcome back for another episode of Chrono Trigger, the RPG play experience that you all voted for. I'm just gonna cut that song right the fuck off. I have no idea what's what's copyright protected and what's not. Um, but it's all infuriating. Uh, let's see. So when last we left off, we went back into... Okay, we went back to the future. Sorry, the, the last time I recorded was like over a week ago, and today is it's Halloween night right now. Um, let's see. Where is this? Mystic Mountains. No, we don't want to go there yet. Uh, Medina Village. Yeah, we'll go ahead and progress the story. You know what? Fuck it. Progression! Progression! Doo -doo -doo. Hey! I'm in your kitchen. Also, your monsters. What the fuck? You folks came out of my wardrobe, didn't you? It's more of a pantry, dude. You don't have a wardrobe. You don't have. You don't even have a bedroom. Like, where the fuck do you sleep? What are you doing here? Who do you think you are, coming and going from someone else's wardrobe at all hours of night and day? Humans, I tell you. You know what, just for that? I'm gonna eat your cake. Wait a minute. Medina is a village of fiends, founded by our ancestors when they lost their war against humankind 400 years ago. Most of the townsfolk still have a grudge against humans, so be careful. There's an odd human who lives near a cave in the mountains to the west. He may be able to help you out. Thanks. But why are you being so nice? I thought fiends weren't supposed to get along with humans. It's been 400 years since man warred against fiend. There's no use living in the past. Of course, not many other fiends seem to agree with that. Good to know. I'm sorry I ate your cake. All right, so we'll go to Medina Square just so we can see the cult. Chrono, what's that creepy chanting? Oh, great fiend lord. 400 years have passed since Magus commanded his fiends and waged war against the humans. But if Lavos can be reawakened, there will be no more humans. Also won't be any more you, dude. It was the Fiend Lord Magus who gave life to the almighty Lavos to aid us. And once Lavos awakens from his long slumber, the human race is doomed. The almighty Fiend Lord deliver delivered Lavos unto us long ago with his great magic. Okay, so you get the idea. It's, it's a cult. Look at that guy. Badass scythe and shit. I bet he's a really useful um, person. Let's go visit the elder. Got a speed capsule. Blast that Ozzy the Eighth. Always hiding behind his ancestral fame to boss us around. His work is brutal. All right, let's talk with Ozzy. I'm Ozzy the Eighth, the leader of this village. My great 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 grandfather fought against the humans at the side of the Fiend Lord himself. Oh, great fiend lord, why didn't you exterminate the human race four centuries ago when you had the chance? Um... I am, I am the reason for that. Got a magic capsule, sweet. A fearsome beast lives in the cave on the mountain to the west. Only magic can harm it. I doubt a human would be able to make it through, not being able to use magic and all. Well, I better get back to tidying up before Ozzy the Eighth catches me. Cool. Let's get the fuck out of here. Alright, so here's, uh, how much... Okay, we only have 7,000. We can't buy anything, and we can't really use the inn either. But we can fight some fuckers here. No room here for humans. Scat! But please? You still talking to me? Don't know what's good for you, do you? Get them, boys! Oh, I'm gonna fuck you guys up. There we go. So the guy up top is, in fact, out of the battle now. 
There we go. 31 experience, 3 GP, body, body, body. Ah, help! Two hundred gold for a night. Nope. <laughs> no stinking humans gonna talk to me. Yeah, sure. I got nothing to sell to humans. Get out of here, please. Humans think you got a right to everything. Teach them a lesson, boss. We're gonna fuck these guys up too. Wow, this guy sucks. Just awful at everything. <laughs> you fail at life, dude. And now you've stopped living. Cool. And we got an ether. Sweet. They, they beat you, boss? Monsters. Alright, I'll sell. But look at how much he is selling shit for. A single potion costs 1840 now, in the past, I have gone out and farmed all that money. I have gone out and done that. And see, it's weird, like, 65 grand for the Steel Saber and the Zanmato is, like, so much better, but it's also 65 grand. Like, Luminous Robe, Radiant Plate, Radiant Helm, all this shit, like, yeah. But we're, we're not buying anything from this guy, he can eat a dick. I think I'm gonna charge. Yeah, he's gonna overcharge us for everything. Um, we'll also go and check out this thing up here. Because it's neat, and there's also a treasure chest. Got a mid ether. So that's weird that that's there. Anyways, moving on. So, dude said somebody lives over this way. We'll go ahead and save. Save complete. And then head to Melchior's bachelor pad. Oh, you've come to see me. Well, by all means, have a look at my collection. Could I interest you in a weapon? I'll give you a special price. But yes, I'd like to buy one. What have you got? A crimson blade, a bandit's bow, which we already have, a plasma gun, which we already have, a hammer arm, which we already have. And titanium vests, which we need two of. So let's go ahead and get this blade. Can we afford two of these? Yes, we can. Let's see, crimson blade increases our magic by two, and that'll be handy. Uh, titanium, iron, bronze. Okay, cool. Uh, titanium. And you've already got titanium on. Cool. Um, we'll go ahead and take the Rage Band off of Robo. We cannot do that. Okay, we'll give him the Guardian Bengal then. Um, for you, reveals HP of enemies, strength plus two, Rage Band. We'll put on the Sight Scope. Accuracy plus two is cool. And then speed. Oh, yeah. And is there anything else that we need right now? Uh, potions, we have 22 mid potions, we can get three. Uh, panacea, we'll get one. And shelters, we don't need those right now. So that's uh, pretty good. Weapons are not meant for the taking of lives, they're meant for saving them. Sure, dude. Alright, uh, we'll go ahead, magic capsule on Marley. We need her magic to be up. And then a speed capsule on Chrono until it maxes out. And we're gonna min max this bitch. Oh, neat. Look at all the swords. Nothing else. All right. Oh, you've come to see me? Collection? Sure. Oh, if you're wanting to return to Truce, there's a shortcut through the cave in the mountains to the north. Uh, thank you. So let's go ahead and do that. As long as our MP is full, I think we will be able to survive very easily.
Oh, you fuckers. Death to the enemies of Veen kind. These guys we can just cut. Like, it doesn't matter. But there will be enemies that we have to cast magic on. Bah. Yay, yay, yay. I guess this episode is brought to us, to you, to everybody, to the world, by Sprecker, the fire-brewed orange dream craft soda, made with real honey. It's, um, pretty fucking tasty, and I just randomly found it at the grocery store, um, when I was shopping for groceries, which is a thing that I do. Um, I bought four of them. Yep, we'll hit that guy with magic, I think. I think the pot we have to hit with magic. Let's find out. Yeah, we do. There we go. Wow, 24 damage. Damn. But, um, yeah, it's a really good soda. Not bad. Stop sucking on my head. That's rude. Now you're dead. So yeah, we should be able to make it through here without too much trouble. Whew. I actually bought the cream sodas for my youngest, whose birthday is today, Halloween. Um, and then they were gone doing like trick-or-treat shit. Whenever I got home, I was like, you know what? Like, uh, they're 17. They're probably going to be out for a minute, so... I'm just going to go ahead and have one of these. Good teenagers. Am I right? Seriously, though, teenagers are off. This worst invention. Teenagers. Should put children into a a cryogenic sleep, or um, is this progression? No, this is a treasure chest. Okay, um, for a decade, whenever they reach a certain age, and then pull them out and say, "Hey, you're an adult now. Good luck, bye." mode on these roly polies. Got a mid potion. Sweet. We're gonna need that. Oh, fuck you. You're just a bat, right? I can I should be able to just like violence you to death. Nope. Alright. More magic. Gonna magic you to death instead. This is a damn good soda, though. It's got like a little bit of spice to it. They say it's fire brewed, and I don't know what the fuck that means, but it's not like a an oversweet. Got a magic scarf. Sweet. Um, we need to give it to Marley, actually. There we go. And let's go ahead and do some potion healing. And let's see. Uh, 10 MP. Uh, you don't need it. You don't need it. You don't... Okay. Don't want to waste our ethers. Poor ether management is disasters. Disasterous. Fuck, I'm tired. It's been a day. Like, not a hard, like, not a bad work day, but it's been one of those days where it's just like, you know, fuck, everything hurts. You're working, like, overhead the entire day. 
on a ladder, so like your shoulders are fucked, your back is fucked, your feet are fucked. And these guys are fucked. So by now, some of you may have seen the uh, the Ghostbusters gameplay that I've been putting up in in streams. This is a very streamable game. Um, but I have a I have a shameful shameful secret. Uh, let's see, lightning. We'll go up there. So um, I got the code. If you watch the the community posts. Uh, flamethrower. Oh, damn it. Alright, fine. We'll just magic everybody to death. Um, I got the, the free download code from a fighting cowboy stream. If you... What's the best way to characterize this stream? Like, he's got a pretty big channel. They, he just broke a million subscribers, and he's doing really well. And, um, he's very good at what he does, especially his guides. Um... There's a part of me, and not insignificant part, that has wanted to to basically, like, do an entire series, like, testing his guides out. There we go. Where I just, like, go through and, like, episode by episode of the guide, we'll go through and, like, play and, and test it and see what it does. And, you know, a guide is never going to beat a game for you or play a game for you. But, um, it can do some good shit. There we go. But, um, anyways, um, yeah, he, uh, like, think, like, a, a guy from, well, he's literally a guy from Jersey who moved to the, the South, and, um, knows that he knows what he's talking about. That's the kind of channel that it is. Um, I happen to enjoy it, and, uh, I, I highly recommend it to, to most folks, or to anybody who's interested in that kind of a thing. Like, gaming with attitude, I guess is a good way to put it. There we go. And there's a jar. But um, he was doing a Ghostbuster stream with the, the game developers. And fuck you. Here, zap, die. Um, with the game developers, they, they, this is a concerted like marketing effort that the, the devs of the game are doing. And um, they were giving out codes, and I got the the second code, and that's how I got my copy of the game. And I immediately started installing it, but it's um on the the Epic launcher or the Epic game platform, uh, not Steam. And I I had to download the Epic launcher. Like I missed the first code because I had to download and install the Epic launcher to, <laughs> to get set up for this shit. Um. Do, 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 do. There we go. Um, but towards the end of the stream, there were there were more codes to give out, and I was thinking to myself, man, it'd be awesome if I could get a code for for my my middle kid because he he, he plays a lot of games, and it'd be fun to like play with him. And so I go and I um, go ahead and pop a shelter. That was fucking pointless. <laughs> All right, cool. Um, save complete, I think it said. Yeah, it did. There we go. And um, so I grab, he, he posts the last of his codes. The, the devs have to leave. And so I was like, all right, wrapping up the stream. So he posts the last of his codes into his uh, Discord channel. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm thinking to myself, fuck, I'll just grab, like, a... See if I can grab a second copy, you know? Um, evidently, Epic doesn't give a fuck about that. I'm just gonna unload on the move magic. I know it's gonna backfire, like, terribly here in a second. Um, I'm pretty sure it's gonna backfire terribly here in a second. So, I, I ended up with... Two copies of the game, but you can only have one copy of the game, like, 
on your account, and you can't get like a second copy and give it to to somebody. So I, 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 my shameful secret is that I stole a code that somebody else could have used. You know what? Fuck you. And um, I actually do feel kind of bad about that because it's an awesome game, and it was just my not understanding how that platform works. Oh shit. Yep, that's not great. Ow. Uh, or a whirl. And then we'll give an extra potion to Marley. That'll be fine. Ashamed that my ignorance cost somebody a free game. But now I know. And I um uh, I won't fuck that up again. Alright, Marley, heal thyself. There we go, and you burn, fucker. Hey, 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 hey. I'm not, like, straight up, like, ashamed, ashamed. But it is kind of embarrassing. And I do feel kind of bad. Yeah, everybody's at full health. We're just gonna do single spells. And we're done! Luca gets a level up. And, uh, if only Lord Magus had destroyed the human race 400 years ago, when he first brought forth Lavos, the world would belong to us fiends now. <laughs> Whiny little bitch. So, Magus created Lavos in the Middle Ages, and in the future, Lavos destroys the planet. If we go to the Middle Ages and stop Magus, can we change history? If we use the gate at the fairgrounds, that's what we'll do. We'll jump in. Fuck yeah! Could we die? Yes! Are we going to be underwater for a ridiculous amount of time? Probably. Alright, so let's see. Lucas House, let's check in with Tabin. Go check on Luca's mom. This is Luca's room. It's a mess. Luca's parents' room with a single bed, which is weird. Luca and Tabin are always off tinkering on their latest inventions. I brought you this apple with what we earned today. Oh, you're so thoughtful. Oh, that's nice. But we do need to talk to Tabin. It was right there. Oh, perfect timing. Got Tabin's vest. Another great invention. Just completed. The ultimate in defense for my beautiful daughter. So we'll go ahead and pop that on to Luca. And it's... it It's not a... It's... It's like... Uh, a little bit of an upgrade. <laughs> it's slightly better than what we had. Uh, let's see. Party. Let's go ahead and pop Robo in. He needs some... He needs some work. And we'll give him... We'll give him the Rage Band again. That's fine. Or we can give him the Power Glove. Yeah. Yes. Oh, let's see. Is there anything else that we need to do? Uh, check in with Chrono's mom. Chrono! Oh, Chrono, you had me so worried. They said you were to be executed. Yeah, we broke out of jail. Don't worry your mother like that. Uh, do I have another allowance? Okay, no. 
You have a kitten. All right. Um, before we go through the portal, we're gonna do some uh, robot on robot violence. And now we could totally eat that guy's lunch if we wanted to. They call me the Okay, we already did the song before. You want to see me poorly rap the song and just kind of half-ass it? Um, hey, we win. Uh, check out episode one if you haven't seen it yet. Fire Punch Dual Tech, sweet. Cool. As anytime we're in the uh, in the area, we need to um, to stop and beat him up. And also, let's uh, drink with this guy. Ready, set, go. I don't even have a turbo controller. Yay! So we got some silver points. Oh, who the fuck are you? The merchants are in the square have all left to restock. Why not pay a visit? Oh, shit. Yeah, that's right. Good call. Thanks, dude. Um, we need to go and uh, talk to Fritz. Who we kept from being um, executed for no reason. Welcome, come on in and have a- Chrono, you really saved my neck. I wouldn't be here right now if it weren't for you. Phew, was I ever in a tight spot. I'd gone off on a buying trip, thinking to show my dad I didn't need him anymore, and that was all well and good, but then some soldiers slowed up at the inn where I was staying to arrest a gang of thieves, and they mistook me for one of the criminals. They wouldn't listen to a word I said. They were gonna execute me just like that, so... Phew, I owe you one. We're in your debt. Thank you ever so much. Don't tell my dad I gave you these. I got ten mid-ethers. Hey! The dad! You're not shirking off, are you? Shirking off. Shirking off. I, uh, I mean, of course not. Uh, no, of course not. No, no, no. Well, all right then. Is that Pierre? I don't know. Chrono, I appreciate what you did. Uh, cool. Now, Chrono, down to business. Please, won't you buy something? Uh, we already have one of those. One of those, one of those are good there. We're good there. Uh, let's do up to 25. And then we'll grab three of these up to 25. 25. And three shelters. Still no ethers on sale. Thanks! Later, Fritz. Cool guy. Bad luck, but a cool guy. Probably. I don't know him. I'm just making shit up. And... <laughs> Time travel is weird! Uh, let's go ahead. Uh, party switch over to Marley. And, um... Let's see if we can't uh, take out uh, what's his face, Specchio. We gotta level up where our magic is a little bit higher. So let's see if we can't fuck him up. Our HP is a little bit higher. Yeah, high enough to survive the one, <laughs> which is great. No nope, shit. Um, let's see. We'll use an Athenian water. This is really hard to do on active. Really, we're just giving him more targets. So we can unload on his ass. Fuck. Maybe we'll pop a mid potion. On Luca. And an Athenian water on Marley. And then fire over here. We are gonna beat this motherfucker. Oh, did I use a mid ether on Luca? Yeah, I did. Shit. Yeah, he's. Oh god, he's gonna wipe the floor with me. And Luca's dead. 
Oh shit. Yeah, we lost. We've already lost this. Yep. Okay, so we need to set it to uh, passive, or like the... Yeah, I know, you won, fucker. Uh, let's see. Battle mode, wait. There we go. Here we go. This will be... a little bit easier to deal with. Yeah, see, now we can, like, actually lay out some shit. Chrono gets nailed next. He's down. Um, so maybe that's who Specky was going to go for. Who knows? No? Okay. Uh, mid potion on Chrono. There we go. We can beat this guy now. And there we go. Oh me, oh my. That was embarrassing. Oh wait, I gave him a different accent before. I, I can't keep up with those. Huh, I guess you uh, ain't so bad after all. Here, this is for you. Got a Specchio Special Refresher Set. Got a Magic Capsule and five ethers. What can I say? I'm the master of war. You're the master of something. All right, Um. right, let's see. Go ahead and give it to Marley so that she has better healing. Uh, no. And we're at full health and everything, but we beat him. That's the important thing. And moving on. Um, we will switch back over to Robo. Yeah. I like it. Um, so we know that's Medina, that's the future, that is the party square. It's the, the, the place. So this is the one that's gonna take us to Truce Canyon. Bing, bing, bing. Hell yeah. Making sure nothing there. Come on, assholes. Cool. Mess up your soccer game, too. hope that uh, messing these guys up doesn't like screw up the hereditary line of the nice goblins that uh, I stole a piece of cake from. I would feel bad. Uh, let's see. Here, there's a bridge. It's remade. Uh, we don't need any of that shit. Let's go check in at the castle. Don't need to fight any of these fuckers. Halt! Who goes there? Oh, it's you again. Alright, bye. Uh, we'll go talk to the king and the chancellor. Lord Chrono, the great hero is... Oh, wait, no, it's the... Ch <laughs> Lord Chrono, the great hero has appeared in the very pages of legend. He arrived not long ago, then left to meet the king. Oh, where's the king? 
Is the king on like the front lines? Is he up in his like room? Oh shit. Queen Lean will collapse if she does not get some rest. Sir Cyrus must have sent that boy to us. Cool. Oh, Chrono. I've grown too old for all this. So Cyrus nowhere to be found, all our hope rests on the shoulder of that boy who bears the hero's badge. He has gone to the southern continent now to search for that sword and slay Magus. 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 It's whatever. King fought bravely against the Fiend Lord's troops, leading charge after charge. Had he not received word of the hero's arrival, he may well have fought to his death. Well, I guess we should head down to the uh, southern continent and see if we can't find this uh, hero dude. Uh, are you going to say the same thing? Yep. Um, we can't get... Uh, we can't do the thing that... Yeah. The chef at the castle needs an ingredient for his... Uh, the meals that he's preparing for the soldiers, but we can't get that yet. What we can do, come down here, save our game, and, um, you know, once more onto the fray we go, I guess, for the first time, so it's not really once. There are more moving on. Commander says, our provisions are depleted. Have the supplies still not arrived from the castle? We'll starve at this rate. Do I have to go back to the castle to get the provisions? Yes, I do. Fuck. Fuck. Uh, Alright, so I guess it is mandatory to do this right now. There's there's no getting around it. That's fine. I honestly wanted to stream some Ghostbusters tonight, but I think there's there's already people doing that shit, and um Honestly, I'm just too fucking tired to stream, and I only have, like, an hour, so, eh. What? My brother's larders are nearly empty? Huh. <sighs> Serves him right, thinking you men with swords are the only ones protecting this kingdom. Enough of that! Are you ever... Go are you never going to set your... Uh, words? Are you never going to set aside your petty feud? Your grown men act like it. Uh... Mind your own business. What do you know of it anyway? <laughs> then we try to leave. Wait! <sighs> take, take this for the troops. I got spiced jerky. And this is for you, here. A strength capsule. Sweet. When you see that fool brother of mine, tell him, tell him, tell him he better come back alive. We'll do. Cool. Um, we will go ahead and give that strength capsule to Robo. I'm trying to think if we really need Marley for this next bit. I don't know if we do. I can't remember if this is the. The boss that... Uh, spoilers, never mind. We'll, we'll make do with the party that we got. It'll be fine. Oh, shit. Lord Chrono, what word? Give him the food? Yeah. Food! He's brought us food! It was my brother. I see. He saved us all. Uh-oh. Lord Chrono, if I should not return alive, give my brother my thanks. Four one for the homie. Sorry, I was adding orange soda to my glass. Commander says, what's happened? Uh, Megas' troops have launched their attack. Our defenses will not hold. You are Knights of Guardia. Defend the honor of our order and drive the enemy back whence it came. 
But we are far outnumbered. Well, I happen to be a teenager with a sword, a robot, and an evil pyromaniac genius. We could help. Or you can just ignore me and just, I'm right. Okay. This is our last line of defense. It must not break. Very well, my lord. It, go to your death, sir. Um... Uh, let's see, let's talk to this guy. That's all my men can do to hold this line. Yes, we will lend you our blade. You have my most profound gratitude. The Fiend Lord's troops are positioned just beyond the bridge. Take this with you. May it keep you safe. Got a golden helm. Sweet. Uh, let's see, equipment. Uh, let's see, your defense is 77, yours is 75. Ugh. There we go. Ugh. The hero reached the far bank, but our men suffered heavy losses in the crossing. Uh, well, there's a reason for that. Now if we can but put the Fiend Lord's army to rout. Seems mere men have it the strength to stop these fiends. Well, I am no mere man. I am a teenager. And I will act like it. With a wanton disregard for human life. I'm Ozzy, one of Lord Magus's three generals, and to his enemies I grant death! Go, my children! Take them to their graves! Uh, let's hit Ozzy. <laughs> Flying skeleton! Punch the green dude. Ozzy's spell is broken. Hey, that was easy. Got some XP, some TP, some GG. Mmm, stronger than I thought. Stronger than... I'm, I'm trying to do an Ozzy accent. I had, like, a British thing. I can't. I'm just... Oh, uh, fuck. We have closed the distance. Seems I misjudged you the first time. But I won't do that twice. Oh, God, I'm just terrible at this. I'm trying, though, damn it. Slay them all! Once again, hit Ozzy. Just ignore the flying spear skeletons. They'll do whatever they will. That's fine. Now it hurts, but it's not. Like, we'll be okay. Punch! Once again, we have broken Ozzy's spell. Drat! Uh, let's see. Inventory, potions. Go ahead and do there, do there, do there. I'll be okay. I mean, we weren't really hurting to begin with, so. But that, that's it. It's time you're finished. I mean it! You cannot win. Surrender at once. Just gonna take all these bones and make a big bone thing. That's kind of a big bone thing. Go, Zombo! Crush Lord Magus's armies! Enemies. Crush his enemies, not his armies. Goes gra and spits fire at me. There we go. Oh, that's a nice fucking crit, man. I dig it. Blood, 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 blood. Death, death, death. Fuck you. Ow. Um, uh, maybe we do a uh. A cure spin. Let's see what the what he thinks of magic. He ate magic. Okay, cool. Oh, we don't have. Oh, we have cure beam, laser spin. I guess we don't have a. Okay, whatever.
Stop. Stop taking my blood, please. You're being on Robo this time. Ugh. Creep. Actually, you know what? Yeah, there we go. Uh, Cure Beam on Luca. Luca, you don't have Hypno Wave yet. Oh, he sucked up all of my MP from Chrono, which is, I guess, fine. That's, that's cool. That works. It's cool. Do a rocket punch. Yep. What is I'm just gonna hit him to death at this point. I guess it's fine. He goes grah and makes the ground shake and does a little bit of damage to everybody. And he's dead. Undead. Redead? He's deader. Chrono gets a level up. Robo gets a level up. And um, we get to get the fuck out of here. Let's see, there's a market, there's a residence, there's the Dorino Inn and the Elder's House. We'll head up the inn first. Can we, uh, 50G a night? Yep. Yeah, we'll stick. Robo just chilling by a bed. He's like, I am a robot. I do not need this, but um, I understand. You meat bags do. Pray, the end of the world is at hand. Many people visit inns. If you're searching for someone, inns are a fine place to ask. By the way, did you know whirlwind energy can dissipate? If it's <laughs> if it's hit with a wind slash, <laughs> that's, that's what the fuck? <laughs> what? How do you know this and why? Nature is a way of balancing things out. That's just a really weird, like, very specific piece of trivia. You looking for the hero? May I better look down south in the village of Poor. That's where they say he's from. Poor, for those of you who remember, is the country slash region slash whatever that was uh, attacking the, uh, the archipelago in Chrono Cross. Magus is trying to summon a terrible evil. If he succeeds, there'll be no quarter for us. We'll all perish. That's why I mean to keep hiding in the bottom of this mug. <laughs> uh, who are you? Want to hear something interesting? Sure. The Denodoro Mountains to the east are filled with monsters called Ogans that wield huge hammers, but burn their weapons and their pussycats. Cool. Good to know. They'll say the legendary Mazamune sleeps with deep within the Denodoro Mountains. So many syllables. But they say a terrible beast rests there as well, guarding the blade. Are the rumors true? Is the Fiend Lord's army truly closing in? Well, the mythical hero has appeared, so I'm sure we'll be alright. You haven't met that guy, have you? You you don't know. <laughs> the item I seek is the mythical rainbow shell. Here's some money to cover your expenses. You'll have the rest when you've retrieved it. I'm counting on you, Toma. Worry not. They do not call me a legendary explorer without reason. I will not disappoint. Oof. Be awaiting good news. Well then, now that the business is settled, I think I'll go down a drink for the road. Toma's an alcoholic, I guess. I'm a bit busy right now. Let's talk later. Yeah, sure. It said only the ancient sword, the Mazamune, can slay the Fiend Lord. And only the chosen hero of legend can wield the blade. With the rainbow shell, we could make prismatic armor to guard against magic. Yet I worry I may have misplaced my trust in that young man. He claims to be a great explorer, but was I right to believe him? Um, Toma's actually not bad. The hero's here to save us. He's strong and he'll stop all the bad monsters. He didn't stop a single fucking one, kid. 
This house belongs to Dorino's village elder. My, that is unusual garb you wear. Are you outlanders? Did you come fleeing Magus's fiends too? Uh, who are you? Magus commands three fearsome generals. Ozzy, Lee, and Slash. Let's stay far away from the lot of them. There's not a drop of humanity to, be, humanity to be found amongst them. They're fiends through and through. Magus's keep sits on an island to the east. The sheer cliffs surrounding it make it inaccessible. Bless your me. And let's just see what's going on in this random ass house. It is locked. Is it true his majesty suffered injury? Oh, what will become of us in our kingdom now? Oh dear me, is that Naga Bromide you're hiding there? Won't you do an old man a favor and trade it to me? I'll give you something good in exchange. Okay. Truly, you mean it? Yeah, <laughs> what a glorious day! Now oh, then, just wait right there. No need to get impatient. It's unlocked, feel free to take what's inside. I'll be taking this bromide. <laughs> this is an awfully crowded house for an old man to be that excited about a a racy magazine. But we got a magic capsule for our troubles, so. Yay. Yeah. See, Robo has nine magic. Uh, we'll give it to Luca. Dirty old man, dirty old man. Uh, who are you? The hero has come at last, and I suppose it is only a matter of time before the epic battle begins. You're not- you're only half wrong. Welcome, what can I get for you? Um... There we go. Uh, potions, we'll grab two. Mid potions, we'll grab one. And we're good on everything else. Rock on. What is this? Fiona's Villa. My husband Marco hasn't returned from the war, but we planted and tended these woods together. So I mean to do my best to protect them until the day he returns. I'm gonna take your stuff. mid ether, and another mid ether. Cool. And then there's the magic cave, but there's nothing there. And then there's the mountain, but we don't want to go up there yet. We're looking for the hero, after all. Uh, he's not at the inn. With this armor, I can join the fight against the Fiend Lord. Uh, uh, it's so, so heavy. I got a strength capsule. Oh, little girl. I'm afraid my brother will hurt himself. He already has. Well, let's see. Can do a beret. Go ahead and grab the two. I mean, fuck it. I'm gonna get one golden suit. What? Oh, there we go. Yeah, it's right there. Okay, cool. I'll give the suit to Robo. Uh, let's see. Uh, a strange monster came here drinking not long past, mumbling about Queen Lean this and Mazamune that. Sure was an ugly frog, man. <laughs> like you see many frogmen. Cannot believe the legendary hero is a boy from this very village. Have you heard the latest? Uh, yes. Yes, I suppose everyone must be talking about it. His old man must be so proud. Uh, maybe we haven't heard the latest. Well, then let me be the one to tell you. Legendary heroes from our own village! Uh, that's... I'm disappointed. I thought there would be more than that. I can't believe that naughty little urchin Tata is a legendary hero. And what a name! Have you heard about the Magic Cave? The one east of the Denodoro Mountains? I saw a sheer rock wall there. Part like a castle gate. And then a host of fiends strolled right in. Best leave Magus and his cronies to their own devices, though. Unless you want trouble. Uh, I don't want trouble. 
Alright, Tata's place. My own son, the legendary hero. Seems like I sired myself a champion. Can't say I truly see it, but I don't suppose I ought to question good fortune. Father of the hero. I like the ring of it. Um, before we go upstairs... Uh, let's go to the mayor's house. Elder's house, whatever. Uh, this guy is a piece of shit. Only I had some spiced jerky. What a wondrous meal I could make. We could run and grab some, but whatever. The boxes beside the bed have been handed down through this family for generations. Not the slightest inkling what's within. Find a way to open them, and their contents are yours. The place known as the Magic Cave lies east from the Dunadoro Mountains. That place will send chills down a grown man's spine. Tata bears the hero's badge. First I thought it for a fake, but it's the genuine article. He truly is the hero of legend. I suspect he's combing the Denodoro Mountains to the north even now, searching for the sword the legends speak of. Maybe he is, maybe he ain't. Now let's go to Tata's house. We'll see if he is upstairs. Nope, this is an old dude. My grandson is the great hero. That's from my side of the family. <laughs> If your side of the family is full of liars, then yeah, totally. Alright, so they say he's up in the mountain. I don't know if he is or not. Got a mid potion and snakes. And frogs. And a shelter. Hey, look! It's a place. Got a magic scarf. Another magic scarf. Sweet. Who's there? Zero. Ah, Chrono. What brings you here? I'm I'm just stealing your magic scarf, dude. Come to practice your sword play. Oh. <laughs> he doesn't want us to get in there. What? His majesty wounded? Ah. I see. Robo, you're, you're totally in the way. There's naught I can do. Bray, forgive me, but I'd like to be alone. So I think what we need to do is leave and then come back. We'll kill these frogs and snakes and shit. Oh yeah, they counterattack with that range shit. Whatever. We'll beat him up. How are they changing their mass like that? So yeah, that is the trick to these things. Is to um, hit the snake, and then he'll eat a frog to get his health back, and then... Rinse and repeat, you know? Damn, that's a crit. There we go. Then we'll come back. Or maybe we should... We'll stay at the inn, and then we'll come back. 20G, nice. Robo's actually on a bed this time. We'll go ahead and save. Hopefully, I can't remember what triggers Frog to to not be like you know to to not go full coward anymore. Shit. All right, fine. Eat a frog. Those frogs are annoying as fuck, too. Cool. Uh, 
I am no hero. There's naught I can do to help. Alright, um, fuck it. Let's go looking for Tata. Uh, did he come home? Fuck, I always forget. Got money! Oh, uh, let's see. Yeah, I think we have to do this first. Yeah, all right, over at existing data, save complete. So we're going to call it there. Thank you all for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this episode of Chrono Trigger. It's uh, lots of lots of story, a couple of bosses, and um, we're moving right along. So uh, up next, we will take on the Denodoro Mountains and um, see if we can't find uh, Tata's coward ass up there someplace. Um, not to spoil too much, but he's a coward. Um, so I'll see you then, but in the meantime, I do hope you're staying safe and healthy out there. Whew. I've got orange soda bubbles in my... And, um, I do hope that you're having a good one, especially on this Halloween night, even though you're not gonna get that message until, like, a week and a half after Halloween, but that's... You know what? Bye! <laughs>